What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Walter Tuomi, representing Neo Defective Gaming once again, aka Neo Defective. You can find me over on twitch.tv slash Neo Defective every other day during the demon hours, during the Oni hours. Way crazy. I'm on, I'm on Pacific Standard Time, all right? So when I'm streaming, it's usually about 3 o'clock in the morning. It's wild. If not, you can find me on Fridays for sure streaming at more reasonable hours, usually starting around 9 o'clock p.m. But today is February 9th. I take that back. February 8th. We just went forward in time, went back into time, 2022. And we are currently experiencing a game called Sifu. <laughs> and Sifu is amazing. It's so good. It's so good and it's so damn hard. I played a lot of games. I played quite a few games that are also hard and I respect the challenges. I have played Bloodborne, I played Sekiro. I've played just you you name the hard game. I've probably played it. I'm not that's I can't say that. I can't go out on some crazy limb and just say you name it because I'm sure there's a thousand games you guys can name that I haven't played that are hard as hell. But for sure Sifu was up there as being one of the hardest I've ever played. Um, during last night's stream, I almost threw my entire stream setup. I was so angry with it. <laughs> but you know what? It's the next day I came back doing nothing but thinking about that game and how to progress and how better to prepare to beat whatever boss that I was currently at or whatever situation that I was currently becoming a little bit more. Uh, it was a, it was a little bit too nuanced for me for my understanding at that point but what i'm trying to say is that game comes out today and it's coming out already to rave reviews because the embargo had already lifted i got the pre-order for it and it was an, it's an awesome game it's such a good game the art style the aesthetic is is really good it's it's really top notch for what the game is trying to present to you it is really challenging and it doesn't do a lot to explain what the situation is at hand when it comes to that game like a lot of the mechanics get no explanation so let's, let's just jump right into it and get into the nitty-gritty so over on the seafood twitter slow clap pretty much has acknowledged kind of folded a little bit in that people are already saying that the game is too hard so slow clap good on you for at least putting out a little mini tutorial because they had to go and make a blog post on the playstation uh, site to help people out with certain situations that they were getting stuck on like one of the things that one of the many things that it doesn't explain is there's a talisman system and that talisman system tells you that you can unlock things five times that was my original problem going into this game i didn't understand that you had to buy something five times to unlock it i thought when you purchased it twice, that was how you permanently unlocked it because you can temporarily unlock abilities using the talisman system, but you actually have to pur purchase these things five times to make sure that you can have them, have them in your inventory going forward. And the system that it uses, the aging system, it's wild. It's a wild system and it's very unique. Uh, you, you will die quite a few times if you're not prepared for certain situations and that's going to happen a lot there is a lot of trial and error here but a lot of that comes from just knowing what the weaknesses of are from the enemies again the camera can also be a little wonky at times that you always want to try to get yourself into a better position so that the camera is not an issue so making sure you don't get up against walls making sure you don't get up against corners those are things you don't want to be in when you're coming into a fight anyway so you don't want to be in those moments when you're surrounded by 10 plus enemies. You don't want to be in those moments anyway. And also bottles flying at you off screen can be a problem. But again, try to attack those guys first. It's just me offering advice, right? I'm in love with this game. I think the challenge is is very necessary and very uh, very refreshing for a beat em up game. It's not exactly the kind of beat em up you expect where it, they showcased it, almost advertised it as you're gonna go in there and beat the crap out of people. And you do, <laughs> but it's a little bit more nuanced than they've ever showed. So over on the blog post, Sifu out tomorrow, tomorrow being today, because remember yesterday was the seventh, today's the eighth, a few final tips, right? But this is them kind of caving a little bit, them acknowledging that the game is hard and kind of caving to the audience. They already actually nerfed the first boss. The first boss was pretty freaking hard. Um, I went 
I beat it the first level when I was 45 years old came back because I didn't understand that I didn't unlock two moves that I had to buy them five times. I thought buying them twice was how you did it. When I came back, guess what happened? I lost everything. And that immediately set me off. I was like, what is going on? And then I did even worse. I did worse, mostly because I got frustrated by that. I didn't understand. So I was, I had, I was kind of forced into it, but you do get these shortcuts and these shortcuts can help you beat these things faster so that you can have more abilities and more life to, to kind of spend so you, you don't age as faster into the next level. Like you don't want to go to the club at 45. You want to go to the club in your hopefully 20s or 30s when you understand the mechanics a little bit more. It, that's kind of the portion of it where it starts getting into the nitty gritty. There's so many there, there's mechanics that are working behind the scenes and in front of you that you just want to make sure that it's the best. You're, you're doing the best going forward into the next stage and into the next series of fights where they're super hard. So. They showed the overall progression tips, learn and train both your defensive moves, parry and avoid. That's pretty much the game right there. From what I figured out, parrying is so crucial to everything. It's everything in the game. When when you think that dodging and, and blocking to avoid damaging your structure, which is the little meter that's pretty much, which is pretty much the Sekiro posture, that is not as important as actually parrying. Parrying's the most crucial mechanic in the game and <laughs> it's funny that they say uh, find the shortcuts and explore stay calm and keep going if you even if you believe your character is too old to finish the game going further into the levels will allow you to unlock more skills and secret paths you can revisit prior hideouts later once you know the game better to improve your finishing age exactly that's exactly the way you want to take it you want to improve yourself by being you might finish older but then you can go back and do it over and try to beat it at a younger age. That's kind of what you want to do. That's this is explaining exactly where they needed to uh, kind of do it in game. But this is you know something that they have to do outside of game, and it, it's it's fine. This is fine, and it's it's just a matter of hey, get good gamer, right? You don't want to be one of those old David Jaff guys that that's like this is a terrible game because it explains nothing. You know, a la Metroid or say bloodborne man just doesn't like bloodborne I, I gave up at the in the first area like wow that's okay bro that's you you know <laughs> but sifu is that kind of game it can push your limitations of what you're willing to accept is good in a game this is a hard game guys just be wary going forward that if you're buying this at full price 50 bucks i say it's worth it so far i haven't even beat it but i say it's worth it this is a game you got to give a shot to if you're willing to go for a challenge this is that game all right i want to say game a thousand times because that's what we do here all right new defective gaming it's in the title <laughs> do not attempt to brute force or cheese the encounter because yep they are against that don't let your stuff get surrounded use the crowd control techniques prioritize your targets yeah and you got you got a big chef boy right there okay finally we wanted to know that you're part of the team behind Sifu. Oh, wait, we want to, you to know that the part of the team behind Sifu is already at work post-launch content. Awesome. We have exciting plans for free content updates that we'll soon be able to tell more about. Stay tuned for more and enjoy your experience with Sifu. Thank you. So slow clap. Thank you. Slow clap. You guys are amazing. It's been great. But so the, what I'm really trying to get into is what constitutes a, a game or a gamer saying, hey, I'm not a real gamer because I didn't beat this game or I can't beat this challenge. That doesn't make you not a real gamer. Not beating games doesn't make you not a gamer. Enjoying the games that you want to play, as long as, I mean, if you're playing Doki Doki Literature Club, that's still, that's still a gamer. If you're out there playing first person shooters only and you don't like the challenge of, say, a Sifu, but you can also... I don't know, get into other, I mean, it's, it's, it's the, the term gamer is so varied and vast that there's really no standard definition. There should be none. Play the games that you want to play and that you want to enjoy. And that will pretty much constitute you as being someone that spends a lot of time playing video games and video games are cool. Video games are fun. They're made for us to enjoy. And the developers spend so much time doing these games, making these games being away from their family that you should enjoy every nook and cranny. Do you see that little knob that's on the heater down there? A developer had to put that in there and it probably took them hours. It probably took them hours to make that little knob. 
it's these are the kind of things you should appreciate and if you do appreciate those things then that makes you a gamer like <laughs> but some of the, something like this a, a game this hard whether you you stay in for the long run and you try to grind it out or you move on it dude challenges are different and people accept challenges in different ways and go through them go through with them and deal with them in different ways if you get this game and you want to see the challenge i strongly suggest that you do but if you can't don't feel bad on yourself you guys this go back and play the games that you want to play all right there there is no harm in and there shouldn't be none people shouldn't be calling you names on in the twitter sphere because you couldn't figure out certain mechanics or that you just didn't have the time maybe you're a family guy and you don't have the time to figure out those mechanics so you have kids and a wife or a girlfriend that needs attention well you do, everybody's different everybody's life is different so you can't jump on somebody for saying that they don't have the time to figure out games they probably really don't now i'm not one of those people luckily my baby mama and my kids are awesome and i usually stream and do this way late like i said this is 3 30 in the morning <laughs> on uh the 8th of february so all my pe family are asleep all my peoples my families <laughs> my uh my brood they're all sleeping right now so i do this stuff on my own time and i sacrifice my own sleep to do these things to, to make this content the same way that these people who make these video games the developers are sacrificing their time away from their family to make these games and they're there for you to enjoy they're not there to be as hard as humanly possible to to make your day better some games are there for the challenge and this is one of them and you should go and appreciate it and i think you should go and buy this game and try to take on the challenge and just learn just learn that's what it's about you can get through this i'm telling you i can get through this i will beat this game just like so many people already have so i don't think it's that long actually too it's only five levels but they're still working on post game content already free content slow clap you made yourself a damn good game here and this game is getting nines and tens across the board let's go ahead and check over at the metacritic okay over on metacritic sifu is a stylish yet gritty beat em up featuring visceral hand-to-hand -hand combat in a contemporary urban setting from slow clap creators of acclaimed ps4 fighting game absolver sifu follows a young kung fu student on a path of revenge hunting the murders of his or her family by the way you can choose a shifu <laughs> you don't have to be a male character so that is an awesome nice little touch so 81 totally on on metacritic right now and you're looking at hundreds nines and gfinity gave it a four wow they had to have been having a tough time like me i'm having a tough time but i'm still loving the time that i'm playing in this game it is still that good to me I know people over at Kind of Funny are giving it high scores. Wow, look at Hades actually finished with a 93. That's pretty solid. So, but yeah, this game's getting, um, so this game's getting in the 80s. I'm gonna, personally, uh, at this point in time, I would give it a nine. Uh, they're giving it a, a, a solid eight, is what it seems like all around. So, good on them, good on Slow Clap. You made yourself a damn good game. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go get yourself a copy of seafood digitally or physical it doesn't matter whatever floats your boat or finds your lost remote you guys i've been neo defective don't forget you can find me over on twitch.tv slash neo defective you can find me on twitter you can find me on tiktok instagram facebook here there everywhere at neo defective if you've been here before you know what it is stay dirty humans